Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today, the robot octopus gets six more arms. Barb Makes Things! The concept for these arms is just like that of straw finger joints. Like this. Where you snip a bunch of V's into a straw, run a string through, and pull. When you release, the straw straightens out and replicates the motion of a finger. The previous octopus arms were made with this very soft IV tubing, which won't straighten out like straws will. So for these arms, I'm using another kind of polyethylene tubing that was hanging around Crash Space. It's worth noting how many of my designs are built around what I have on hand. You don't have to get fancy stuff. Reuse is better for the environment, it's cheaper, and it's good for the brain to figure out how to modify your plans to meet your materials. I took the disc models that I made for my previous octopus arms and adjusted the center holes and flanges to fit this new size of tube. I left the wire holes there even though they won't be needed for this type of arm mechanism. I printed out a whole bunch of them. Then cut the tubing to size. I slid the discs on, then cut the spaces between the discs. This tube needed more than simple Vs to get a nice curve, so I cut it down to a fairly thin spine between each disc. Run a wire through and tie it at the end, and I have a curling octopus arm. Easy to overdo. <sighs> you cut too much, then it falls off. Boo. It's also important to be careful with the knife here. Close quarters, sharp knife. Now give me the beat. Um, Barb, this isn't very sophisticated control. No, it's not. Two of the arms have more detailed motion. The rest, these, are simpler, but they only take one wire per arm, which is important because I have very limited space right here. I'll show you how I plan to rig them up to make things more interesting in a future video. I've already begun work on the updated base ring to attach all of these arms. We'll get into that in the next video. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.